Um, oh, yeah, we don't like these guys. We? Yeah, nobody likes them. New England? No, Philly. You're close. I like Philly. No, you don't. They do a lot of good stuff for this league. They do not. All they do is knock Red Bull out of the U.S. Open Cup and then follow suit and knock us out of the first round of the playoffs every year. So I'll start uh, this one off. Um, okay, go ahead. I feel like this did conversation. I, did my rant distract you? <laughs> I feel like this conversation would almost be better with like who isn't ready to make a jump to Europe right now? Because I feel like I feel like you could take so many of these guys and they could do a job in Europe because this team has just been like so consistently good for so long. I would say based on last season, Gazdog could make a move. Kai Wagner, Leon Flock, Jack Elliott. I feel like one more good season from Julian Carranza, he can make a move. Maybe even Gleesney's. I I think even maybe Gleesney's could. Then you got the young guys, Jack McGlynn. I'm sure he's teeing up a move soon. Quinn Sullivan. Who else? Who you you know you never know who else is coming through the pipeline. Brandon Craig could be the next one. <laughs> Brandon Craig's gonna follow the Tom Barlow, Brian White train. Because <laughs> he's got the generic name. <laughs> yeah. Um. For Philly, yeah, I said I said Kai Wagner, who has made no secret of his desire to go abroad. Uh, Daniel Gazdog in the Hungarian national team getting minutes, uh, MVP candidate last season. Andre Blake, again, if he was American, he'd be in England right now. Um, and then every used player they've ever called up ever. <laughs> no, you, you don't think Jack Elliott can jump right now? I feel like with the English nationality, he could easily move to like a top championship team and like no here's the thing I, w- I want him and Gleesney's as a package gone they torment me year after year after year <laughs> i want them so far away from this league i can't even begin to describe it. um do i think that jack elliott the fourth round super draft pick at aged 27 27 yeah you know he could i think he's slow for that game um again it's it's a lot of Long ball, tracking runners. I, I think it might be a little bit fast for him, but I don't think he's. A, I don't think like he. I, I don't know if he'd go to a top championship, but would would he fit well at a at a Stoke and then try and work his way up? Maybe. Now that being said, do I think he's going to go? No shot. Gleasney, same thing. Twenty eight. He's. Have you seen that man run? He's not fit. <laughs> so I have no idea. Bro, he, I have no idea how how he's that good. Like, if you looked at him, you think he's a Sunday league player, and he's a he's one of the best center backs in the league. <laughs> Just reads the game really well, but um, I don't think he can make a move either. Um, Carranza too early. Um, Leon Flock, I think he had a he had a good year last year. Uh, another one that we need to we need to get involved in the national team. Yeah, Leon Flock's been good for a while though. At this point, he yeah, said he came, back to he came back. From the German. Yeah, he came from St. Pauli. Yeah, he came from the German system, so he knows the game, so he can make that move no problem. Like yeah, I said he, I think you so. know, mid mid table Bundesliga could call him at any time, and he'd be okay. I think so too. Um, 